my name is Frank White and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Today I am going to talk about the, the Low Pro AW302 Slingshot Professional Camera Bag. As I'm about to demonstrate, this bag holds a surprisingly large amount of gear and you can, you can easily attach additional camera lens bags to the, to the camera strap especially since they attach to the, since this camera strap will be on the front of my body, it makes being able to get to stuff really easy. Okay, one of the things I do like about this bag is, is when you unzip it, and it's unzipped now, um, it does have safety stops so that, so that when you slingshot it off to open it up, you can't zip past a certain point, which, keep you from accidentally zipping something too far and having your camera gear accidentally fall out. Okay, normally here I would have my, my camera body, but right now I've got the camera body on a tripod uh, making this video. So let's go ahead and, and go into the main compartment first. And here you'll see I've, I've got inside a body cap and really a body cap and real lens cover. Uh, I also am able to store the Sigma 50 to 500 mil camera lens, which is quite a good size lens. Starting with the right bottom, uh, I am going to go in and get the filters out. Uh, I got a stack of circular 58 diameter millimeter filters, including uh, the circular polarizer and some neutral density filters. I've got a 70 to 300 millimeter lens with the hood on, on it. I've got uh, a 28 to 105 millimeter lens. I've got the 50 1.4. I've got the 85 f 1.8 and I've got the 100 um, 2.8 macro with the lens hood. So as you can see I'm able to get quite a large assortment of lenses. Not to mention the extra lens filter that I can use that's inside the, the lens case that I've uh, attached. Now this lens case is not part of the Low Pro system. This one is a case logic lens, lens cover that I, I just add to the bag as needed. Okay, now inside the bag, inside the main compartment, these compartments are totally reconfigurable. I can, I can change up the configuration uh, to accommodate my gear as I see fit. Uh, so I kind of pull that out just to give you an idea of how easily I can reconfigure the compartments and get it configured back the way I had it. Uh, the same with this side, but by default, um, I think the bag comes configured with six departments and I didn't see any reason to change that around. Um, but I can take this guy here out and make a few more, another compartment. So that's pretty cool. I also got the capability inside this flap to store some SD cards. Um, my guess is that this is big enough to hold at least 10 SD cards. I can probably stack five on this side and five on this side. Um, now I'm gonna move on to the next compartment um, which is also on the flap. 
So as you can see, this compartment here, and let me just kind of get situated here and move this stuff, move these lenses out of the way and the lens filters. Okay, so here I can store probably another ton of stuff. Now I use this compartment uh, pretty much for exposure tubes. Like I have a, a light meter, a light modifier, which is the only light modifier I tend to keep with me. Um, it, this is this light modifier fits onto my speed light. I have my color checker passport, um, and I also have some business cards. Needless to say, I do portrait work primarily, but I also like to shoot uh, some landscape and some wildlife. Okay, now, this, this compartment does have the ability to hold uh, additional items. Um, let's see if I can turn it up so you can get a better look at it. Has uh, places for the business cards I meant, some ink pens, um, um, I can store stuff in this pocket um, but uh, but so far these are the only items that I'm carrying in it okay now let me go ahead and remove the tripod uh, the tripod has a has a built-in pouch and a ring to a strap that secures it in place as with most professional bags so I'm gonna take this tripod off and snap this guy back. And when I'm finished using, using the tripod, or if I don't need to take the tripod with me, then I can fold this guy up in its compartment out of sight. Uh, that way, when I'm not using it, it doesn't collect dust and it makes for more in its static aesthetic pleasing bag. Now, this, I've had this bag, gee, um, let's see, going on two years, and this is the only friend that I'm seeing, and that's with um, this patch that they've sewed on to let me know that this is where the tripod foot and go. Uh, but overall, the bag is held up, and believe me, I use it. So, um, so with that said, you know, you shouldn't, you should be to get, um, well, it lives up to its professional grade. All right. So in here, here's a compartment that's capable of, of, of storing a whole slew of slim, slim stuff. Um, the only thing I tend to keep in it is this RC6. Um, and for me, that's it. This compartment here is a rather large compartment. It's capable of holding quite a few items. I've got a, a speed light, the Canon 580 EX2 to give you some sense of scale. I also have a car battery charger. Um, these things can really come in handy uh, when you're out on a long shoot and your batteries go down. Uh, spare lens cap, remote trigger. Did you see that? Bubble level. The camera I shoot with does not have a built-in level. Cleaning, a, a camera cleaning kit, complete with um, some lens solutions, a blow bulb, and a cleaning pen. 
you can get a sense of the scale by my hand. I've got some speed light triggers, uh, at least two of them. And I've got in this compart in this zip compartment here a couple of spare batteries for the system that I shoot with. Um, and I still got room for additional items that I don't have the that I don't have uh, with me. Well, that I I still have room for additional items should I need it. I also have this net system to to hold stuff in place, which is where I keep the the triggers to keep them from bouncing around, so forth and so on. Okay, now. So this one little bag, let's see if I can just spread stuff out so that you can get a sense of, of what it's capable of carrying. This one little bag carries a whole heap, <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, um, oh yeah, put, put the triggers back out. And I still have room for additional items. Now, about the bag itself, um, one of the things that, that's important for camera bags is imagine that, that you're out on a shoot and you hike into a location. Um, and, you know, a pop, it's one of those hot summer days and a pop-up cloud pops up and start dumping rain on you. Um, and you need to protect your gear. This bag has a built-in rain cover so that your thousands of dollars worth of camera gear is protected well enough for you to take shelter. Or you could put this guy up under, you can just kind of sit the rain out if need be, or if you're on the back of a motorcycle or even on the back of a horse um, going to some location, then you still have a way to protect yourself from your camera gear's worst enemy, and that's water. Okay. And since this guy's built in, it's permanently attached, then you don't have to worry about not having your rain cover with you. It folds down and compresses rather nicely into the bag where it's hidden away until you need it. Given the build quality of this bag, I would certainly recommend it for anybody who's going on a shoot where you need multiple multiple camera lenses and you know if you one of those people who subscribe to I rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it then this bag is for you so real quickly let's pack it back up okay let's see how fast we can get this guy packed up Start with the big gear. And change my configuration to accommodate this lens. 
Okay. 70 to 300. 100 mil. 28 to 105 zoom. 85 mil. 50 mil. Filters. Lens body cap and rear lens cap. And camera body. SD cards. And I'm just going to grab one if I got one handy. Okay, SD cards. Okay. Exposure tools, gear, items, light meter, color checker passport, light modifier for, for speed light, and business cards. And if I've forgotten anything, then I'll come back and add it later. Slide compartment, um, um, flap compartment, my RC6, and let's see if there it is. Okay. Main compartment, spare batteries. Remote triggers. Battery charger. Cleaning kit. Spare, ca uh, spare lens cap, 58 millimeter diameter. Uh, remote trigger. Bubble level. And speed light. Finally, tripod. It's always the simple things that take the longest. Okay, and tighten it up. Okay, so now that I've got it packed up, all I need to do is slip into it and Adjust my straps, and if I need to add another lens to my repertoire, then I can always add it here. I'm taking this guy, putting it on. Drop the lens in and close it up. And I am ready to go.
So, thank you for watching my YouTube video and I hope I've been able to give you some useful information about the, the Low Pro AW302 Slingshot Professional Camera Bag. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and please take a moment to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I read each and every one. And remember, if you're gonna shoot anybody today, shoot them with a Canon or a camera of your choice. Thanks guys and have a great day.